what's up welcome back to my channel so i just filmed a video if you haven't seen it you should go watch it it is my 2019 goals and things we're leaving in 2018 so you guys should go check that out i will uh put that link in the cards up here so you guys can watch it this is going to be a video about productivity i've been talking about productivity a lot on my instagram you guys always ask about apps on my phone in general but i really wanted to talk about these couple apps that i use to make myself more productive i feel like we have these cellular devices and we don't use them properly we don't use them to their full capacity we do not let them work with us they work against us a lot of the times we're on our phone we are on social media or doing something that is not productive this can cause you to to waste time and if you spend more time on social media than you do being productive you will find that you will be very very jealous and envious of people that you follow because you will see them making moves and doing great things and you're not because you're sitting there watching them we can make ourselves more productive by utilizing our phones more efficiently with that being said if you do not have an iPhone I am so sorry but this video probably won't be very helpful to you because you will not know what I'm talking about unless you have a phone that does this. There is a new feature on the newest update of iOS and I'm going to record my screen so that you guys can follow along with me. In iOS 12, there is a function in your settings. It is called screen time. Screen time allows you to see how much of your time you are using for specific apps, how much you open your phone, what you're actually using your phone for. So it'll basically help you to be more productive by giving you a way to monitor the time that you spend on each app. And you can either limit categories or you can limit different apps. So I have specific limits on the apps that I know that I use way too much. I know I play Candy Crush way too much. So I limited Candy Crush to an hour a day. I have a very low tolerance for ignorance on Twitter. So if I stay on Twitter too long, I will become stressed out or I will become frustrated and annoyed with people. So I limited my time on Twitter uh, to an hour. I limited my time on Instagram to two hours. Instagram is my workspace and I get a lot of my inspo for videos, pictures, fashion from Instagram. So I do allow myself a little bit more time on Instagram, but two hours is the max that I want to spend. I go over it every day um, and I do override my limit for Instagram. So I typically do spend about three hours on Instagram a day, but the two hour limit gives me a way to say, okay, since you've been on here way too long, cut it short. If you got something to do, do it real quick and get off. I also have apps that are always allowed. So during a certain time, I set a downtime. So my downtime is from 11 p.m. to 9 a.m. I usually go to bed at 11 p.m., sometimes 12, depending on the day. But normally I'm, I'm getting ready for bed or I'm in the bed by 11. Around that time, I only have access to a couple apps that I will show you in a second. When I wake up in the morning, I usually wake up around seven o'clock. Anytime before nine, I do not wanna be on social media because what I've noticed is when I wake up in the morning, getting on social media first thing is usually what causes me to waste time. Um, and it also causes me to not have a good day because a lot of stuff that people post is just not conducive to my early morning. The one thing I need to work on is my relationship with God and spending more time with God and reading my Bible. And so this is forcing me to actually do that by limiting the apps that I can use in the morning. From 11 p.m. to 9 a.m., all of my apps are shut off except for messages, FaceTime, because just in case somebody texts me or call me, I need to know what's going on. Nobody really hits me up in the morning, so I'm not really concerned about that. And then maps, just in case I need to drive somewhere early in the morning or drive somewhere at night. The only other apps that I'm allowed to use during that time is the Bible, the Logos Bible, which is uh, more of a reference Bible. I don't really use that one as much. And then my other Bible app that I don't really ever use. I don't even know the name of it. Um, but those, those are Bible apps. Um, so I'm basically not allowed to do anything but talk to God between 11 and 9. The other two apps that I am allowed to use are Day One and Dailyo. So I have them all grouped together so that I don't even go to the other apps and try to click on them because they'll all be closed anyway. The way that I take notes, I don't actually like to journal and take notes with my handwriting because my handwriting sucks and it hurts my hand and I have nails and it's just... I don't like writing stuff down. I like to be able to do everything on my phone. I just like to be able to access it wherever I am. This is the day one journal. You basically can make a post. You can add your steps for the day. You can add um, drawings. You can add photos. You can add pictures. You can add recordings. You can audio record with the uh, premium version. So I usually just do text and that's where I make my little journal entry for the day. Usually when I do journal entries, um, I will be 
reading the Bible and I'm making notes from what I read. If I do have something to write about, if I am expressing myself or I just want to write how I feel, whatever. If I'm what, whatever I want to put in my journal, I can put in my journal. So journaling is really helpful. Another app that I use for productivity during my downtime is Dailyo. The Dailyo app. Hey boo, I'm recording. Quiet on the set. Dailyo app is helpful because this app basically just tracks your mood every day and for mental health purposes it's very helpful because i can basically see how many times a week i'm stressed out or how many times a week i had a good day to me it just helps me wind down and reflect on the day the good and the bad things and then usually i don't even end up putting that i had a bad day i end up putting that i had a good day because it really wasn't that bad when my downtime happens it alerts me every night to remind me to put in my mood um, and just reflect on the day. Other apps that I use for productivity that I know you guys have in your phone that you probably don't use. Reminders is really, really helpful because um, I have lists for literally everything and I share lists with different people so that we always know what we need. If he needs something, he'll put it in the list or if I need him to remember something, I'll put it in the list and put a time on it so that it'll alert us when we need to do certain things. Every month it alerts us to pay our bills. So I do have a cleaning schedule in here. Every single day I do a different cleaning and I usually Usually it reminds me at 9 a.m. in the morning so right after I do all my productivity and my apps are just about to open actually sis you don't have time for Instagram because you got to clean up your house it basically tells me to clean up my house every day and then Saturday is catch-up day Sunday is rest day I don't feel like I have to clean up everything in one day and it gives me a focus because I have a very scattered brain so my brain is so scattered that I can't multitask I cannot do a million things at once so I have to be alerted of different things every day to keep me focused on one thing at a time because otherwise I won't do it. I'll just sit there and be like, I have so many things to do. I can't do it. Other than that, I love my calendar. So yes, the calendar is pretty straightforward. You can add things to your calendar. Your phone is very smart and it knows what it's doing if you just use it for what it's worth because calendar stuff pops up on your Apple Watch. If you have an Apple Watch, your phone, your iPad, your computer, it all syncs together if you have iCloud. These are all of the calendars that are in my phone and I share a calendar with Cam. Our family calendar is shared together so that when we have something that we both need to be alerted of, I always know where he's at. He always knows where I am at if I have an event that night or he has the gym or something. I don't ever have to text him and ask him where he's at. He'll never have to text me asking me where I'm at because it's in the calendar. Sorry if you can hear things in the background. Cam is cooking me dinner while I try to finish this really quickly. Okay, uh, one app that I forgot to talk about was Trello. And this app has been really helpful in helping me to cultivate ideas and then turn them into actual projects and then actually complete them. Um, I mostly, mainly, mostly use this for projects that I actually are working with other people. So working with Cam or doing sponsorships, collaborations, things like that. It's easier for me to put everything into its own group so that I remember my talking points, I remember important steps that I need to take, things that I need to have, like, you know, materials that I need. And then it also keeps me organized with what I've completed, what I haven't completed, what's due at what time. There's different due dates. <laughs> it's very helpful um, for project management if you do work with multiple people. Um, it works for any type of projects, not just YouTube videos, but any projects in general. And um, it'll alert people. It'll alert you, it'll send you notifications when stuff is due. It's really, really helpful. I use that mainly for social media stuff. So all my social media work, I use Trello for that. I have a lot of apps that I use for Instagram, mainly for productivity purposes, for like posting and scheduling. One of the ones that I typically use is called Preview. There's another one called Planoly. Both of those, I like them, but they both have their limitations, mainly because most apps out there wants you to buy stuff. I haven't bought the premium version <laughs> of these apps yet, but so far my favorite is Preview. I like Preview because you can have multiple accounts and because I do manage another Instagram, um, I like to have both of them available. But I use this to plan out my Instagram posts. Plan out your caption, you can type your caption, find hashtags, you can add hashtags to it, and then you can schedule the post for whatever day and time you want. When you do that, 
it'll alert you it won't post it for you but it'll alert you when you need to post so that way you can plan out your whole page and preview your page what it's going to look like if you add or take away posts so if you have a color coordinated feed or if you have a certain look you're going for this is really good for you because then you can actually see what your feed is going to look like when you add new pictures in it for those of you who do plan out your posts um that's really really helpful so that you don't have to like be on your instagram all day those are the productivity apps that i use so far those are the ones that i've really found to help me out if you guys have any more questions about any of the other apps that i talked about in this video or you want more extensive you know explanation let me know and i can i can help you out in the comments uh or i'll just i don't know like I said, I haven't been consistent in the past, but I do want to be more consistent and I think that this method really helps me and this is what has really pushed me. Uh, I definitely think that you guys should try out these apps if you have not already. If you have any suggestions for apps that I should use, please let me know because I love trying new apps. Other than that, I will talk to you guys in my next video. I love you guys and I'll see you later.